a question doctors and families agonize over all the time. Whether loved ones in a coma can actually hear them when they talk. And now for the first time, science may have an answer. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here with this amazing story. Dr. Max? Yeah, that's right, Christina Maurice. Every five seconds, someone in this country suffers a traumatic brain injury. And a third of those will be injuries severe enough to cause a coma. Doctors often tell families to constantly talk to their loved ones, even if they're unconscious. Here's a man who heard. <laughs> Four years ago, Godfrey Katniss was a new dad. It has to be devotion to God when things are going badly. And, and an inspirational youth pastor in Southern California. Then a blood clot in his liver sent the 32-year-old to the hospital. He had three and a half feet of intestine taken out, and then he had a brain hemorrhage that um, required a nine-hour surgery. A medically induced coma saved his life, but doctors feared Godfrey would never wake up. Corinth never lost hope, though, and talked to her husband constantly. I would tell him he needs to get out of his coma. Just prayed, read to him, told him how his daughter was doing. Neuroscientist Teresa Pape believes in the healing power of those voices. In a groundbreaking study, Pape performed brain scans on 15 coma patients, including Godfrey Katniss. When patients heard unfamiliar voices, brain scans showed little activity. But when they heard close relatives calling out their names or talking, the scans lit up. Pape's team also asked the families to record stories loved ones would recognize and play them repeatedly for a month and a half using headphones. The stories were played for eight of the patients, including Godfrey. The other seven only heard silence. The eight patients that heard the stories recovered significantly faster. We think we're exercising those connections in the brain, and we think that that's helping us see the recovery of awareness. <laughs> After three months, Godfrey came out of his coma severely disabled but cognitively intact. He writes devotionals for his church with his iPad, which also helps him communicate. I thought it was kind of comforting to think that they were there with me. Talking to your loved one doesn't guarantee they'll come out of their coma, of course, but it certainly can't do any harm, and there's now evidence that they can hear you even if they can't respond. Even a severely injured brain can be rehabilitated. Maurice, Christine. Okay, Dr. Max, thank you. Well.